BAE system has recently developed Adaptive, an adaptive camouflage for combat vehicles that reduces the thermal signature and makes them imperceptible to infrared night vision devices. Footage of the system at work shows a thermal camera closely following an armored vehicle across a forest landscape. The CV-90 light tank then shows different letters on its side, but when it finally stops, its thermal signature suddenly disappears, blending entirely with the environment. Adaptive is made up of hexagonal metallic panels that are individually heated or cooled instantly, allowing the operators to completely blend with the environment and mimic natural objects or other vehicles, such as harmless cars. The company said that it is planning to use Adaptive for air vehicles and maritime vessels. If successful, this camouflage technology will revolutionize the art of war, with new infiltration tactics and operations behind enemy lines. Camouflage and War The use of camouflage has been part of warfare since prehistoric times. During times of old, men would use mud, branch leaves, animal skins, and man-made pigments to disguise themselves from bigger creatures, and more importantly, from other hostile tribes. Since then, camouflage has come a long way with the evolution of military uniforms and the environments in which soldiers fight. From the colorful medieval and Napoleonic uniforms to the standardized use of darker colors such as khaki, gray, and olive green during World War I and II, camouflage has followed a common trend, reducing the visibility of a soldier. With the introduction of armored vehicles, aircraft, and powerful ships, optimal camouflage also played a key role in selecting a vehicle's color. The camouflage pattern has always been heavily inspired by the ambiance in which an army is deployed. Be it the desert, a forest, a jungle, or a frozen tundra, a soldier and a vehicle have to be able to blend in with the environment as much as possible. Although highly successful throughout the decades, the introduction of infrared or IR sensors suddenly changed the game, as an advanced system could easily identify soldiers hidden in bushes and vehicles from miles away. Adaptive Camouflage In the mid-1970s, thermal sensors that used the mid- and long-range infrared spectrum to analyze objects hidden behind thick clouds of smoke, fog, or darkness began to take control over the battlefield. During the war in Vietnam, experiments were done with sight prototypes that could penetrate behind the jungle canopy and help soldiers and special operators detect hidden North Vietnamese and Viet Cong enemies. At first, snipers were given this new technology to locate targets and terminate them effectively. Afterward, these IR sensors began to make their way to unmanned aerial vehicles, or UAVs, drones, and other weapon systems. Consequently, militaries worldwide began to experiment with special materials and dyes in uniforms to shield a soldier from exposing themselves to IR sensors. During an interview with Eric Schechter from Popular Mechanics, Camouflage expert Lieutenant Colonel Tim O'Neill said, quote, You're running up against the laws of physics. The heat must escape somehow, or you'll reduce the soldier to a hot, stinky puddle. During the late 1990s, the Swedish army began experimenting with active temperature modulation to hide infrared signals, but such passive IR camouflage has yielded average results since it was first introduced. The experiments were fruitful, but the equipment used was not just expensive, but extremely fragile, which greatly limited its operational use for combat scenarios. However, the hard work and scientific research paid off when, in 2005, the Swedish Defense Material Organization initiated the Steerable and Controllable IR Signature Program. The aim was to produce a successful adaptive camouflage that could be used by military personnel and military vehicles to blend in with the environment. Unlike traditional camouflage, adaptive camouflage generates displays that change according to the scenery and lighting conditions. In an article written for NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, Philip Moynihan of Caltech and Maurice Langevin explained that, quote, the basic overall function of an adaptive camouflage system would be to project on the near side of an object the scene from the far side of the object. The duo then explains that an adaptive camouflage is made up of flexible electronic flat panel display units that are placed on the surface of an object to cloak it. 
Each display panel contains an APS, or active pixel sensor, that looks outward through a small aperture that occupies a small fraction of the panel's area, while a central controller connected to an external light meter automatically adjusts the brightness of the panels to coincide with the ambient light. Then, the underside of the cloaked object, be it a vehicle or something else, is illuminated artificially so that the upper display can show the ground as if it were ambient light. The Swedish steerable and controllable IR signature program would become crucial in funding BAE's own adaptive camouflage system, nicknamed Adaptive, which would take the concept of adaptive camouflage to a new level of technical development. Adaptive Camouflage Adaptive was developed by BAE Systems to perfect the concept of adaptive camouflage. This patented infrared cloaking technology was conceived to blend in with the temperature of a specific location or mimic the infrared signature of other objects, such as small vehicles or bigger objects such as tanks. Footage taken by the company in April of 2011 during the DSEI exhibition in London shows a Swedish CV-90 light tank making its way through a forest landscape and accompanied by another vehicle. The video is captured through a thermal camera lens that closely follows the tank. Suddenly, Adaptive's invisibility cloak gets into the action, and the whole vehicle disappears. Its infrared signature basically vanishes in a matter of seconds. Another scene shown during the exposition cuts to the combat vehicle using its advanced disguise capabilities. One screen displays how the operators change the temperature of specific display pixels in the vehicle to mimic a much smaller car and fool hostile IR sensors. What's more, we can also witness how the adaptive system can serve to identify and distinguish friendly targets from hostile ones. Also, individual display pixels can be turned on to make signals and letters to help identify a target. And as is shown in the footage, the CB90 is moving across the landscape while one displays the text BAE Systems. BAE has explained that the high-tech camouflage system uses, quote, modules that look like cells in a honeycomb to cover the flanks of an armored vehicle. The modules are made of elements that can be cooled or heated up very quickly and controlled individually, allowing different patterns to be created. The lightweight hexagonal pieces are electrically powered and made of metal resistant to small arms fire and shrapnel, providing an additional layer of armor protection. The company says that Adaptive works like a chameleon and can mimic its surroundings or copy the forms of other cars and trucks projected onto the panels from an image bank. Actually, it is so sophisticated that the system can also make the tank mimic the temperature of an animal or plant, like a cow, a tree, a bush, or a rock. The future. Currently, Adaptive is only available for the CV-90 family of vehicles. Still, BAE has plans to use it on maritime or air vehicles. The honeycomb panels can be resized to achieve stealth at different ranges. In the case of small vehicles, the pixels tend to be smaller, but the pixels can be larger to display a lower resolution image in buildings or vessels. Peter Sjurland, the adaptive project manager at BAE Systems, said to Popular Mechanics, quote, When the enemy is closer, you need a higher resolution image, so the pixels have to be smaller. You don't want a thermal pattern that doesn't look natural. Sjurland explained that in a combat scenario, an armored vehicle engaged in urban warfare would require hand-sized honeycomb panels to adequately puzzle an enemy infrared sensor at a distance of some 200 to 300 meters. However, the situation changes with a warship as it engages the enemy at nautical miles and more extensive panels with low-resolution images can be used against enemy IR sensors. For the time being, BAE will continue perfecting the system before it is incorporated into the Swedish army and sold to other countries worldwide. Still, although BAE has taken the lead, it is not the only company focused on developing an adaptive camouflage system. Israel is also experimenting with the Invisible Reactive Armor Protection, or IRAP, system developed by Eltex, which has dubbed it Black Fox. And in the US, the Army Research and Development Center and DARPS are also working on projects of a similar nature. Thank you for watching our video. Please like and subscribe to our Dark Documentaries channels to find more exciting historical content. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to be notified of our newest videos. 
Also, let us know in the comments below what you think of this game-changing camouflage technology developed by BAE Systems. Do you think it will be used on a large scale by worldwide armies?